Hey there fellow gamers, my name is Zach, and welcome to Let's Play Colot, or Col Colot, or however you pronounce that, I don't want to butcher it. I know that this game is probably pretty old by now, and I do remember, like, the big time YouTubers playing this game, but I've, I don't think I've ever fully watched it, and I, I know it's been a long time. I spent a long time hoping that these audio levels are good, so if they're not, I apologize, but I, I've been fiddling with it for a while. So without further ado, I'm not going to ramble on like I used to. Let's just get right into the game. Now I did play it just to see how it ran, and it does run pretty good on my new computer, which I so still totally love. So hopefully this will still be enjoyable for you guys, even though I know that this game is probably really old by now. 56 years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains. A group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Ototan Mountain. They died. They all just died. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. Kolat. It was their last stop. Oh, they did die. I predicted Three the weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. And they died. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen from an avalanche or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered deep under the snow. And that's where we come in. And hopefully don't die a horrible death like they all did. So... I'm just so happy that I can really play this, because my computer, my old one, could not. I know that texture's gonna look kinda weird, because it's on high quality, not epic. Because I just want to make sure that it runs well. I mean, it's still recording 60 frames, so... I hope that's still the case. Okay, that's the zoom in, I think. That's the crouch. That's the sprint. I'm sorry the texture's gonna look kinda weird. I don't know why they seem to go all... censored. So what am I doing? Where am I going? Sorry, I keep looking to the right. That's just where the... OBS is, and I just wanna make sure it's still recording... well, and it is. I, I love it. Can I... no? It's rather pretty. It's really pretty. The music's pretty too. Although I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. 
I don't really have an objective. But, or, see, that, that's just weird. Why, why does that... Why? It's on high quality. It should not have, like, pixelated errors. So I made sure this time that it's recording, like, full HD. Like, even though the game was HD before, like, it was only recording at, like, 720. So uh, this time I made sure it was... It's gonna be as good quality as I can hopefully get it. Like what? What am I? What am I supposed to do? Just go into the? Just go? Just go? I mean, I can. Is that my objective, though? Okay, the music's getting more quiet, so maybe this is where I'm supposed to go. Like, it's getting more ambiotic, or ambiatic, or how... It's getting more ambience. Let's just go with that. So, I hope that these audio levels are better, because I noticed before, too, that Windows put my microphone volume at 65 out of 100, which lowers it. Yeah. Well, I thought it would lower it, but I didn't realize that before, so now my audio should be, or my microphone should be a lot better. If not, I will adjust it next episode, as always. I'm still getting used to this computer and what it can do, so just bear with me. I will get to where I want to be with it. I'm already ten steps ahead of where I used to be. Are you coming to me? Who? Uh, maybe? I mean, next episode I'll try to go epic visuals just to see if there's any difference besides, like, better quality but lower frame rates or whatever. I mean, this computer should be, looks like it should be able to do it, but I'd rather just be sure than try to go all out and have it be like, oh, well, that sucks. Ow. In the end, the only thing I saw was a flash. Insufferable burning light. The pain ripping apart my body. Ow. I felt it tearing out of my soul. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. The light went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. I welcomed the end with delight. Q1 from Metallica? Which is a really dark song, as good as it is. Uh, I suppose, actually, you know what? There we go. Now it's a lot more spooky. Although that is really bright for my eyes. Uh, this is cool. Um, this is great. But, but what about this? Am I supposed to just give up? Stop moving? Is there an end? Like, am I supposed to do something? Because this, this is, this... I mean, this is a cool effect and all, but... Oh, wait, there's something. Oh, it's the camp. I think it's the part of the camp where they first started. I am right behind you. Please don't be. I really would appreciate it if you weren't. Whoever's mystical voice is speaking. What am I looking at? A compass going at bat shit? What just happened? Am I be am I becoming the map? Am I just gonna walk around as a giant map? That'd be funny. 
When you run for too long, it can get tired and sooner, and we'll need to, more time to recover. So basically, don't run unless you have to, like every horror game out there. Very rarely do horror games give you infinite sprint, which is how it should be. Because then if you could just sprint forever, that kind of defeats the purpose of getting caught. Oh, that was Act you 1. You tried to hold on to your humanity. When others convince you of being no more than a subject, an object, which they can bend to their will. Man. Yeah. told you that you were a monster that deserved punishment. I mean, not me personally, but maybe this this you guy? really not remember your sins. Whoever this is? Away your loved ones, leaving you to rot in the dark. That's darkness, a cool effect. But in their darkness... There's some... Yeah, I was looking at that. So you guys can't see because my face is right here. But there's something up there. I don't know what that is. So I guess we follow the demonic footprints. Running in deep snow is tiring. Adjusting the pace you're running so you don't exhaust your or organism. My organism? What am I? Just like a species of something? Have a long journey, rest in camp, and set a goal for a safe route. Lighting with the flashlight. Barely accessible rocky nooks may lead to some interesting places and shortcuts. Okay. Cool. So, uh, where, where am I? Where am I here? Like, where's... Where... Is this where I am? Where... Uh, what, where am I? I don't know where I am in, in regards to this. I'm just going to assume that I am right here. That's what I'm going to assume. Okay, there's still that weird light up there. So basically, try to get back there if you get tired or something. Uh, I don't know if I have to focus on food or anything. So I'm just gonna keep going, I guess, because I don't know if it's like a full-on survival simulator. But I see, I don't know why that happens. That's pretty. Okay, uh... What is this? I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. I arrived at Vishai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission, and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment, and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall, and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometer and a half away. But the trail went cold after 500 meters, and we had to carefully search the entire area. This was not a place of any average incident. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. Well, I was convinced cold. that something more than just an accident had occurred here. I had the feeling we were dealing with something unnatural. That's one way to put it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. We sure are. 
Oh. Oh. Uh. Hi. Ah. What was I supposed to do? What? What was I supposed to do in that? Okay, I'm going to turn my mic down just a little bit because it looks like I am peeking all over the place. Uh, if I could just do that, that'd be that'd be that'd be great. Can can I can I do that? Pick it down just a little bit. And why did I just really die? What the hell? What was, what was I supposed to do? I didn't even know what was happening. Was I supposed to run away from there as soon as I could? I mean, you guys probably know this by now, but I don't. I I know nothing. Okay, I'm uh, I'm just gonna run. Like, am I supposed to do something about this? Besides, run. Ah! Ah! Oh, that not chase. It's not chasing me. I think that's one of the survivors. That's neat. So as a moral of the story, just don't stand still. I mean, I didn't know what was happening. It was cool looking though. Okay, so I think that's where the first marker is. I think that's what that means. I mean, I don't make a cool thumbnail, though. So, looks like that to be the thumbnail. I mean, this game is pretty. It's very pretty. I don't really need the flashlight, I don't think. So, I think that means that another survivor went this way. I know I'm technically supposed to go that way, but yeah, I'm just going to go the way it wants me to. So let's just go this way, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to try saving all my run juice and all that for later. Yeah, I do plan on getting a better microphone. Like I, that, like, I I do want a better one. Like, one I can actually adjust and all that fun stuff, because all I'm using right now is a rock band microphone. And it's good, but it's kind of pathetic. Uh-oh. Oh, I'll go this way, okay. Doesn't look to be anything in there. Sorry, I'm so quiet, but these kind of games, I think, use sound to their advantage. So I'm trying to make sure I don't hear anything. Uh, like I don't know where I am, like in regards to this. Like that's the problem. Like I don't know where. Like where am I? Like, am I supposed to be able to see a marker? Because I don't. Uh, I think I'm going the right way. That looks like something. We are sitting in room number 23. Although sitting might not be the right word because we are running around trying to finish up packing anything else we could need. Uh, food cans, tools, essentially whatever we get our hands on. We want to be sure that we took everything we could possibly need. We're running out of time. Damn it, where did I put my belt? I'm sure we forgot about something. Your belt? We're almost ready. We lost the knife. We're counting the money. We're leaving the room in a complete mess. 
So, we made it to the train station. We're singing all the songs we know and making up new ones as well. Everyone is so excited. Finally, at around 3 a.m., we go to bed. I wonder, what is awaiting us when we get there? What will we see? Nothing good. How far will we make it? Not far. I hear the rest of the group breathing peacefully, and it's snowing outside. That sounds pretty bad. You dead. You very dead. Oh, now I'm getting why I need the flashlight, because holy hell, it's getting dark. But yeah, let's not jump in there, shall we? I'd rather not impale myself. So good to know I need to watch my surroundings too, like on the ground and such. I thought I saw a light over here. Oh god. You guys saw- oh, was that it? Like, I have no idea what to expect from this game. I really don't. Uh, this is like another hideout. It looks like I need to go up there because there's something glowy, but... I have no idea how. Can I go around? Yeah, do I have to go all the way around? There's definitely something up there. Yeah, I think I need to go around. Oh, hi. Hi. I'll go back. Uh, that is really tiny. Uh, that's cool. I guess it's just extra info. That's cool. If you guys want to read it, you're welcome to pause it. Now, I'll read it at a later time, but I don't know if I still can be killed as I'm looking at stuff, so I don't want to sit still too long. Like, I don't think the enemies here are going to be like, Oh, he's reading. Let me just let him be. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be the case here. So I see, is there... I don't know what the save points are in this game are. Did I just make a giant circle? Okay, so I don't know where the checkpoint is. It might be like when I first started, so... I hope not. Like, I hope like each thing you pick up is a checkpoint because I don't know where the save mechanics are because I don't... I didn't, they didn't tell me about a manual way to save or how to save. It's just like, oh, well, there's checkpoints at some point, I guess. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I know I am. I really want to play this game more since I actually can now, and I'm so happy about that. It's been in my library, my Steam library, for so freaking long. I've never been able to play it because my computer could not do Unreal anything. But this new computer I have can, which I am so happy about. As you can see here, that it works beautifully, and I love it, and I cannot emphasize that enough. So, hopefully you all enjoyed this. I'll get out more when I can. And again, if you guys recommend me playing anything, or if you guys want to see me play something, please let me know, because I now can do that. I can, I 
so like it looks like I don't have any limitations of what I can play now, and I'm so so happy for that. So again, if you guys have any recommendations, I will gladly hear any out. I'll try to get the games that I've started, like this game and a couple other games that I've started. I'll try to continue those when I can. Because I'm so happy that I can now actually do series and not just like one shots because my computer does not, my old computer did not like doing anything. So enough of my rambling. Hopefully you all enjoyed this. Hope you guys are staying awesome and I'll see you on my next video. Later guys.